is your girl Shamika for God's glory. Welcome, welcome back to Motivational Monday. So yet again, the Lord is leading me to share a message with you all that I wasn't necessarily going to share, but not my will, but his be done. So here we go. As you know, I'm a member of the Greater Allen Cathedral. Shout out to my church, Reverend Floyd and Elaine Flake. I'm in a season right now where I'm just kind of trying out different churches and getting different words and experiences you know last week I was in Maryland and I went to the Freedom Church and received that amazing word and um, this week I went to another amazing church that was recommended to me by um, a good friend of mine and the church is the Destiny Christian Destiny House Christian Center in Freeport and the pastor the senior pastor is Pastor Pepper Martin is that a nice name I love it Pastor Pepper. So um, I want to share this amazing word with you all today and I pray that you are encouraged by it. Uh, so the word is the wages of pain is anointing. I'll say it again. The wages of pain is anointing and um, this, the Bible scripture or the book um, in the Bible that was referenced was uh, uh, Luke chapter 4. So these are the notes that I took from this and it was definitely another eye-opener. It's time, the first thing she said was, it's time to grow up. And I was like, oh, okay. It is time to grow up and stop complaining about what you are always going through and what people are always going to do to you. We have to walk this walk expecting to be afflicted, talked about, someone's going to be jealous of you. But we will be forever tainted if we don't find peace. So, you know, I think this is a good message for us all because I know there's some of us who may complain all the time about the same thing and oh I never catch a good break or I can never get this or I'm always broke or I'm always this and I'm a big believer that you speak into existence what's going to happen to your life so if you're always speaking these negative seeds then that's what's going to be returned back to you you know so we just have to stop it and as I go on you'll understand a little bit more so you'll be forever tainted if you can't find peace we have to learn to rise above the nonsense and just get the job done anyway. Every trial that comes into our lives is not done by the devil, as we would all like to believe. Because, you know, sometimes things happen. I'm, I'm even guilty of it. I'll be like, oh, the devil's trying me. He's trying it. And there are some times where we're supposed to go through a wilderness season. And that's done by God. It's not always the devil that has a hand in that. And um, she gave an example of when um, the children were led in the wilderness by Moses in Exodus chapter 16. The purpose of this wilderness experience is to allow our character to be tried. Can your faith be tested? In the middle of your feelings of anxiety, confusion, depression, I want you all, I want to encourage you all, us all, to be strong and to put on the armor of God and helmet of salvation. And it's time to fight, y'all. We need to fight with the word. The word is our weapon. The word of God can never fail us or let us down. Everything we've been through, confusion, dismay, crying, people talking about you, people lying on you, we have to come to the acceptance that the devil won't leave us alone. It is what it is. Like, you know, we're not going to live this life with roses and daisies all the time. We're going to run into some trials and tribulations. It is what it is. But we just have to make sure we have that armor. And even me... I'll tell some of my friends, I'm like, oh, I feel amazing. I'm, I'm great. I'm great. And not that I'm expecting the worst to happen, but I'm always in the back of my mind like, okay, you're feeling awesome now. There may come a time when the, when the devil tries it or when God puts you in a season, how are you going to act then? You know. So yet again, so we must come to the acceptance that the devil won't leave us alone. But how are we going to accept it? We won't accept it with misery. Not asking, why me? Why is this happening to me? We will accept it like Jesus did when he gave up his life. You know, we always sing he, he, he didn't have to die, you know, but he wanted to follow the purpose for his life. He had to do that. So same with us, you know, we can, you know, walk out with like, uh, why me? Oh, I can't believe this, whatever. But honestly, it's a badge of honor to be chosen by God. And... It's honestly nothing we can do about it. We can complain all we want, but is it going to change anything? It's just adding stress to your life. And they actually ended, so I've realized I said the word actually a lot, and I'm going to work on that, so bear with me. But they ended 
the service um, with the song called God's Got Away. I've never heard of it, but I'm going to sing a little bit of it from what I got from it. It's like, God's got a way you can't go under. God's got a way you can't go under. God's got a way you can't go around it. You must come in at the door. It's so true. It's like, you know, we're like, oh, I don't want to go this way because I'm going to hit a trial. I don't want to go this way. But it's like, if it's your destiny, if that's your path, your perp you know, if that's what you're meant to do in that season, that's what's going to happen. You just got to come in at the door and just accept what it is. Accept it. You know, and I think that's once we can realize that we just need to accept it, life would, I think, run a lot more smoothly for us all. If we just know, you know, like I said, I don't expect for bad things to happen, but I'm always telling myself like, okay, you're in a great mood now, prayerfully it stays that way, but if it doesn't, how are you going to react? Are you going to get all upset and depressed? And of course, because we're human, we go there, but we have to remember that we have the word of God, that God will help fight our battles, that God is with us no matter what. And I just pray that you receive that today. That's pretty much all I have to say. I'm going to keep this short and sweet. But sing that song after this video. God's got a way you can't go under. Like, really listen to the words. God's got a way you can't go under. God's got a way you can't go around it. You must come in at the door. You must come in at the door. I hear the instruments on my head so okay i'm gonna leave you all with that i pray that you all have a blessed day and i'll see you all tomorrow for testimony tuesday you are in for another treat thank you for watching god's for god's glory i'm sorry i can't speak today because i'm still just so filled with that word i literally just left and this is when i like to really give this word to you guys when it's like fresh it's right on my mind it's right on my heart and i pray that you receive it okay love you all god bless